What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to talk about something that I've had a lot of people mention to me, and that is a really more of a question, it's where did the meme teams go? We've talked about it a bit on streams lately too, kind of just being like, it, they're just, the way the game has changed from two to three years ago, you used to be able to do some really cool things, like heck, you remember, if you guys never saw it, go back, find the Petrify meme team series, start that from day one, episode one of that, and watch it through. The amazing things you could do with heroes like Karma, Kameth, Jara, yes, regular Jara, you could do so many things. It's pretty much what turned into uh, this account right here that I'll show you. This is actually, it turned into like our dark meme team, our evil meme team. It kind of bounced all over the place because we just never played it that much. But this account actually started out with a Jara. Yes, just a regular, not, not... I mean, this was way before Transcendence Heroes, a regular Jara. And it was really fun to see how weird heroes that are not used that often could make it pretty far in the game. Now, I pretty much get inspiration from this from Wrath of God Gaming. If you guys never saw any of the old school Wrath of God Gaming videos, go check out some of his series, especially his mid-tier series that he did. Because what he did is he took a hero that was very uncommon and was not really that strong of a hero and... He made Dant Monster a meme and a god among the Idol Heroes community. He had the ability to deal, you know, good damage. He had increasing attack and damage reduction every round for six rounds and stuff. Uh, he also restored health when he took damage. And it was a really cool thing seeing a suboptimal hero to see what they can do. However, when you look at the heroes we have nowadays and how quickly the old game modes get beaten, like Aspen Dungeon, getting to death 100, very easy task nowadays. Tower of Oblivion, beating it all the way to 650. I mean, if you haven't, what are you doing? It's a very easy task to do. Even getting to Sealand 20, which of course that Dant monster couldn't do, uh, but it was still a cool thing to see. And now you have all these void modes where, yeah, void vortex, you could say you can actually get a decent way up the leaderboard. You could probably get to like Valiant with pretty much any old hero. Explorer with decent heroes, but there's just so many difficulties now. It makes it feel so bad. And then we have like the most important game mode in the game now, void campaign. You just can't even do it unless you have a void hero. The other thing is we used to spend a decent amount on these accounts, as you guys can see. This meme team is literally a VIP 10 over the course of the years. You can even see, like, we'll go to the bleed meme team, which um, I think was this one. Oh, I don't actually know. Uh, but all of them are like, you know, this one's VIP 5 right here. If we keep going down, oh, actually, this one might have been it right here, the, the current scary account. Uh, we have a VIP 9 account sitting here. Like, we used to actually invest quite a bit of money. Oh, not switch account, switch server. Uh, we used to invest quite a bit of money in every meme team we did, but that was also because those meme teams actually got a lot of views. And so my question to you guys is, look, another VIP 8 account. Like, the amount of money we spent across all these accounts is just disgusting on top of what we spent on our main account. Um, my question to you guys is, do you want to see more meme teams? And if you do, I need you to leave a comment and maybe I'll do a poll about what type of meme team. The easiest, most optimal route I think we could possibly do is probably something of a counter attack meme team. I almost did that way back in the day. Uh, we started our royalty meme team with King Barton and, uh, and Queen. And then we just branched out. We're like, you know, Cthulhu kind of a king. Yeah, we, we went down the bad road here, but we have heroes that, you know, do these counterattacks and everything that could be pretty cool, but you can still be kind of optimal because if we're talking about counterattack heroes, that means Eloise, she's probably one of the best out there. That means when we come to Transcendence Heroes, that Scarlet Queen Halora we can add to the list. Um, technically, I think as Medel can, we could call it a counterattack with, uh, or extra attack with his core. It does require a core. We have the newer heroes like Hyperspace Hunter Islamok. We have Doppelganger Natalia. We have a lot of options for counter attacks. I mean, heck, even Mockman technically counts as a counter attack. Uh, so we could try something like that, or we could try another theme of like maybe like multi hit attacks. So if we're going to go for like a Vulcan, heroes that hit many times, I mean, that gives us options of like Garuda essentially hits a bunch of times. 
technically she does like an extra attack too uh there's a lot of options we could do for meme teams the question is or really the big thing is i don't know if i'm going to spend on them uh you saw like we did on the tick series i i, I ended up spending just a little bit on that account there didn't seem like many people really cared about the tick series too much so it really comes down to what you guys want to see because i'm kind of against it right now like literally we have two accounts that we're using right now we're using our main account and we're still going with our free to play account the other option is we could start a brand new free to play account starting from zero and trying to be optimal again this one of course is going to turn into a weird light account here pretty soon i will say the first couple months are the most fun and you can make the most content out of it especially as a free to play player the second you start spending you just blast through content so fast which is why i i've like literally the last three accounts we've made i think have all been free to play if we actually take a look at servers uh this account yep that was free to play uh, that was free to play. That was going to be our uh, purgatory. Yeah, that just didn't work out very well. This was a free to play. And then like we had two other like so we've done four out of the last like six accounts that we've made have been free to play. And I'd love to know if that's what you guys want to see or what. The other thing we could do is we could try to do an optimal series where all we do is buy things like the senior and basic privilege cards, maybe even the treasure card every month that way. We kind of lock ourselves in to be like, hey, we're only spending $40 a month on this account. Let's see how far you can get on $40. Because I do think the treasure crystal card, kind of big. Although, I guess on a new account, treasure crystal card is really not that important. Maybe just go in 20 bucks a month, the $14.99 and the $4.99. Use those and we just do a privilege card series. Because that could be pretty fun. And then we try to play it as optimally as possible. Much like what we tried to do the first time on our optimal playthrough which basically just came became our free to play account i don't know i just need your guys opinions there's a lot of different options out there if you guys want i might start a poll on our community page as well but i need your comments down below for recommendations give me other ideas that we can do for heroes that aren't just like the counter attack that we already talked about maybe some sort of shield meme team because a shield meme team might be kind of cool having heroes like fiona uh, we have Inosuke, we got the new hero, we got Hyperspace Hunter Ironlock. Doesn't even he get a shield? Yeah, I mean, we could do a Doom Terminator Vulcan so that it doesn't like cut us too much out of it. We got Vesa over here, we got Mystic Fairy Freight. There's a lot of options if we go a route of maybe like a shield meme team, which I've heard quite a few people talk about. Uh, and of course, building Inosuke early on, actually easier than building an Eloise now with the, uh, the new check-in. The new first month check-in because you get all this uh fortress food as well it's just getting the inosuke copies so maybe we do that and maybe you do a, a just free to play and see how it goes i don't know you guys let me know what you want to see and we'll try it out hopefully you guys enjoy this one need you guys to leave comments down below i need you guys to subscribe too and i need you guys to watch the series if you want to see more mean team see you guys next time everything's off my chest Thank you.